our pull-up. I found her on eBay for $79.99 and she stands about 12 inches tall. Now one thing that I find is pretty cool about this doll is that behind her head there are little buttons that you can use to control her eyes. You can make her look from side to side or even close one eye at a time. This pull-up is fully articulated, meaning that her knees and joints can bend. However, her neck cannot look up and down. It can only go from side to side. She has real eyelashes, but her eyes inside her head are plastic. They're not those shiny glass that you see on a lot of other dolls. My experience with this doll has been that she's not the easiest to position for photography. Her large head often makes her top heavy, and her shiny complexion often produces a glare in my photos. But it is my understanding that not all pull-ups are made the same and manufacture defects vary from doll to doll. However, many people enjoy this doll because you can customize her. You can unscrew the back of her head and change out her eyes and redo her eyelashes and even reapply her makeup. You can change your body style, um, which I find that many people enjoy doing. And as you can see, I've even done something to her hair myself. Um, it didn't work out so well, and now, due to an unfortunate haircutting accident, she has to wear wigs at all times. But we still love her. These are Live Dolls. On average, they cost about $19.99, but I've been very fortunate to find all of mine on clearance for about $8. Now they do have beautiful glass and set eyes with painted eyelashes and perhaps one of my least favorite attributes of this doll is that they come with wigs. It makes their heads larger than they already are and the hair quality is not the best. But if you would like to ditch the wig, they do come with a cute little painted pixie cut. They come with pierced ears where you can change out the earrings. However, I must say that the best thing about a live doll is their articulation. They have the best joints out of any dolls that I own. And when you're into doll photography, that is very important. Because when you try to pose a doll, if they have loose joints, then their hand isn't going to stay up. It's just going to flop over. But all of the live dolls that I have purchased have aced that department. Plus, I like their good girl teenage look and modest anatomy. Now these two lovely ladies are Barbie Basics. On average, they run about $21 to $24, but you can find them on sale sometimes in stores like TJ Maxx for $14.99. Now what I like about Barbie Basics is that their faces are very different from your traditional Barbie look. And you can see ethnic diversity in the dolls. Each doll comes with a doll stand with painted fingers and toes. However, their unusually thin bodies makes it harder for them to fit standard Barbie clothes. And this is a doll that is really marketed more towards the doll collector.